Hello friends, so I am here with a new video with a new problem of a lead code which is a sum of distance in tree. So that is a very interesting problem. So we are trying to understand and we are trying to uh, see how we can solve this problem. So again this problem we solved with the logic, uh, we solved it with a uh, intuition like how actually the problem like what actually the problem says and how actually we can solve it. So see what we are given. We are given an undirected tree with n nodes which is from 0 to 1 minus 1. The nodes are from 0 to 1 minus 1 and there are n minus 1 edges there. So from there we can easily think that it is actually a, a, a graph type problem. So actually it is a graph problem and we have to see we have to solve this problem according to graph. So let's try to understand this problem. So actually what we are given, let's suppose if the n is 6 as given in the question, we have 0 to n minus 1 which is nothing but 5. These are the nodes we have which is you can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and we are given edges like 0 to 1 there is an edge, 0 to 2 there is an edge. 2 to 3, 2 to 4, 2 to 5. These are all given us as input as you can see here. These are all the edges. So let's uh, talk about in the form of graphs. As we know very well, what is graphs? Graph is nothing but it is actually a tree. But all tree is not graph, but all graph can be a tree. Okay, now this is fine. So what is the problem and how we can solve it? So first, according to this graph, we create an adjust entry matrix. If uh, nobody knows about the adjust entry matrix, what it is, so I will tell you in short. So the adjust entry and adjacent matrix is nothing, but it is a two-dimensional matrix which stores the edges between the nodes. In the in the row side there are nodes, in the column side we have nodes, and within the matrix we are specified like I am writing one here in order to tell that there is a edge between 0 to 1 and 1 to 0, 0 to 2 and 2 to 0. Now this graph is undirected. It means there is no direction specified here. As you can see, we can go from 1 to 0 and we can also go from 0 to 1. So this is undirected. That's why for each uh, edges 0 to 1, we have to work with 1 to 0. 0 to 2 we have to work with 2 to 0 so we are making the tab that is like that now what is the problem again so the problem is very uh, easy I can say uh, order to understand the problem is easy but to solve it that is not easy as that okay so the problem is let's suppose we are at some point so whenever we are trying to solve a graph problem my intuition every time is just think like a map, a Google map. So let's suppose all these nodes are nothing but these are the cities we have. And you are a person which is present at the zero city. Now the thing is that the person is a delivery boy. And uh, the person have a, a scooter or whatever the vehicle he has or she has. Now that person have to go for each node and deliver whatever the thing he have now from 0 to 1 it will go there from 0 to 2 now i am saying the capacity of its vehicle is only one it means if that person delivers something to 2 okay it come back and then to deliver 3 it also it again have to traverse this whole distance okay that's why I'm saying that its capacity of taking item is one at a time. So this person go from there to there. So let's take for each edge the distance is one. Now this person go from zero to two with one distance and the zero and the second city uh, task is completed. Now we have to deliver something at the third city. So here you can see we have to again traverse this. So let's compute for this. First 0 to 1 there is 1. Then 0 to 2 there is 1. Now we have to deliver something to 3 which is 
one and two because he has to travel this this at this distance again which is two right now this is one and this is two now this is one and this is two it means for four and five so two 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 which is six plus two which is nothing but eight it means the answer for zero is eight and if we see it the answer for zero is eight as you can see so we can solve our problem simple traverse from the if we take this zero as a root initially so if we have to traverse from zero to all nodes we have to traverse it again and again we don't have we it not means that we have to traverse this and from there we are traversing this we have to traverse this whole thing okay or we can work like this that for this three there is a one distance this one this one and this as one so total if we do it it is four so from zero to two it has to traverse four times and this one is again one which is five now this one is one which is five plus one six and that zero is also computed in it so six plus one is seven so this is a one two three and four one two three four uh, five six seven eight so we have to compute for two as well like we have to uh, take the two as well in it that's what i'm saying so uh, so the problem is simple if we use a dfs in that fashion because that is the thing but now there is a problem of a space complexity if you see the constants here so the constants is 3 to the power 3 into 10 to the raised power 4 so if it is n square it is very much so we have to optimize it that is so see in order to optimize it uh, there is a thing so you have to optimize it with the intuition so see I am saying that you are at this position and you have to calculate the distance. For this 0, you are calculating the distance which is 2. Now, what actually happens? Think like that in which area you are live in. Okay. At the point where you live, from there, from there, let's think some places. Okay. Let's think for some place. And from that place to all that place, you have some distance, right? Now, when you come to another place and try to calculate it again, okay, it actually think, see, when we come from 0 to 2, we calculate for 0 with each node. Now, we come to 2, it actually hit a thing in our mind that we can use this. How we can use this, that is the important thing. See, when you are at this place, you go to each node and for that you have 8, you have 8 distance in order to complete, in order to traverse whole nodes according to the question. When you come to 2, it means whatever the place you are in and whatever the place you are now, this is actually the downside of it. It means whatever the distance this zero because the two is down to the zero. So I am saying that the zero is covering the distance from zero to all these things. So whatever the extra distance the zero covered in order to reach this level, this is a different for 2 because the 2 is closer to this part as compared to 0. 0 is farther away but 2 is closer to that. It means whatever the distance the 0 covered from there to there, let me change the color, there to there, 2, two has to travel a less distance than you, than 0. So, it means if we think in a mathematical way, so whatever the distance we have uh, in order to compute all of this, 
that we computed is 4. Why? Because the 0 comes there, then there, then there, then there, then there, then there. So now the 0 only traveled this much part, but not that much part. For 2, I am talking. Th this 2 is traveled only this 3 part. Right? That 2 is not traveled this much part. Because see, this is 0 and this is 2 and there are some branches. When 0 try to travel, it cover this part 3 times and this 3 part 1 1 time. Clear? Now I am saying that we are at this part. Now when we are at this part, we don't have to cover this thing 3 times. And we also not have to cover this 2 because we are at this position. It means we can say from 0 we have 8. But now we come closer. So how many closer? Like at this how many things we reduce which is 4 as I am said. Now what is the remaining thing to have to cover? So see. Uh, let me rub this so that I can make this clear and try to tell you. So, this much part is computed by using above thing, right? Now, the remaining part is this. So, as we know, we have n nodes and we are computed 4 from there. So, n minus 4 which is 6 minus 4. These are the remaining distance we have to be visited. So, from there we can say it is plus n minus 2. Okay. So, it means uh, this is the example only for 0 when we uh, calculate for the this one. Similarly, if we calculate the count or we can say the distance for subtree like for 0 this is a subtree. For 0 there is no subtree. For 2 there is subtree. For 3 there is no subtree. For 4 for 5. If we calculate the distance first and using that calculations using that thing like if we consider like at that position 0 is root. Now when we think for 2 now 2 is root then 3 is root then 4 is root then 5 is root then 1 is root. Every time each node becomes root and we calculate for each. So if we like in that way if we calculate a count for our 0 and after that we use that in order to compute for its children. It means we have to use two things. First we have to create a pre-computation for our parents and using that parents pre-computation we can find the child answers. How we can do this? A simple thing. You have to dry run that in order to make it more clear. So what actually I am doing here the code is in the python as I do most of my code in python. So what actually I did, I actually make a graph using this collection library and u and v is nothing but edges. What is edges? As is specified in the equations we have 1 and 2. So for 1 and 2, u and v. So we are adding it. So it automatically becomes an edge and we are creating an edge a v to u which is 2 to 1 because it is undirected as you know very well. After that, what we are doing? See, this is the first pre-computation like count. See, as we know that there are n nodes, right? And each node has one distance. We know very well. We don't have to compute for that. That's why we are creating an array and each node having one in it. And this is the answer which I have to compute. So what I am saying, just uh, I will tell you that first we compute for parent and then using that parent value we compute for child. Similarly, I create two functions. There is a DFS for parent and there is a DFS for children. What happens with? We are starting from zero. What do you mean by that? Uh, see this graph. The zero is the first node we have and at that time there is no child uh, there is no parent so the zero is the parent and the at that condition this is a child because we are traversing from here and there is no parent 
so we are traversing is its child this zero child which is 1 and 2 so we go to 1 see the code and you get it what we did we are going to each child of node initially the node is 0 which is there the node is 0 and its child is 1 2 so we are going to each child but the child is not equal to parent what does that mean this is 0 and when we come to 0 this should not be equal that is the thing 0 and 0 is not equal so if this is not a child we again call a dfs what is dfs we have to go in depth in depth and depth like 0 for 0 is the first is the child for 1 there is no child you can see for 1 there is no child for 1 there is 0 and we are we already specified that child should not equal to parent so we come out of this we create a count for that and according to that count we are finding the answer for our parent and uh, finding the answer for our parent is pretty much easy that we will calculate wait so for parent how we can calculate we calculate for this level we calculate for this level we calculate for this level and then all these things add up and we are we are getting the answer for our parent that is it stuff and after that this function is end up we come to the child so we have to compute for child using parent how we can do it similar stuffs here but for a child what i am saying node is parent so now my 2 is the child we are trying to compute for that so what i am writing answer of node which is my parent like so parent is what 0 2 parent is 0 and 0's answer is 8 okay 0's answer is 8 minus count of child and we know the count of child which we already computed for this two the count is 4 so 8 minus 4 plus n minus count child so n is 6 and count of child is 4 so 8 minus 4 plus 2 so 8 minus 4 is 4 4 plus 2 is 6 and that is what actually the answer we have and similarly we go for each child compute for each child using that formula and we have our answer let's run it mm -hmm. yeah this is accepted i hope you get it and thank you